we are still busy with 10.13. We have done the FIFO method now for 10.13. Now we've got to look at the weighted average. Again, the learning work, the learning work. For weighted average, for weighted average, we take the opening stock plus the purchases minus the returns, the value, the RAND value of that, divided by the number of units that we had, we purchased, and we returned. So the value of the opening stock, which is the 2,200, let me move it. The 2,200, that's the opening stock. So the value there is 220,000. So the opening stock is 220,000. The purchases is the 766150. But remember, this answer has got the minus returns in there already. So let's just... If you add all the purchases together, if you take this plus this, plus this, plus this, plus the carriage on the purchases together, if you add them all, you will get, let me just double check for you, we will get 768,450. 768,450. And then we have to deduct, we have to deduct, can you see that? 768,450. And we've got to deduct the value of the returns. And this answer must be divided by the, the units, the number of units we have purchased. The number of units, units we have purchased. Now you can calculate that again by literally taking the 2200 units plus the 18 units minus the 20 returns, plus that 1390, plus 1250, plus 1270. That is all the units that we have, and it comes to 7890. So the weighted average is, if you calculate that amount divided by 7890, your answer will be 124. 99. Now this is not the value of your closing stock. You still have to times this amount by the number of units you have on hand. And what's the number of units you have on hand? There we have the number of units we have on hand. So it's the same number of units, whether it's the FIFO method or the weighted average. Same number of units on hand. And we times that then by the 1980 that we have on hand, which gives us a 12499 times 1980, which is 247480 and 20 cents. So it is 247480 and 20 cents. That is the value using weighted average.